So this video is going to be an example of using XMind with Obsidian. Uh, a friend of mine asked me about this and I thought I would show him how I use it. Um, the reason to me that they work together well, I wouldn't say they're fully integrated, but what I'm able to do with it is in the file menu, um, actually under export, since you can export things as markdown, uh, any outline you could create with mind mapping tool and XBind can be exported into Obsidian. And uh, a sh really quick example of how I'd use it is I sat down to start planning. Um, I got a trip coming up to Singapore. Um, it's going to be kind of a long trip and I want to be super efficient. And all of a sudden I remembered um, brainstorming, thinking of lots of ideas, uh, is a separate process from organizing and sorting into a list. Because one direction you're trying to be very open and come up with lots of ideas, and the other you're trying to focus and close on what's most efficient. So I have found it best to split that into two different tasks. So I use XMind to get started. So an example would be uh, for this trip, like, man, what am I gonna pack? Uh, one way to think about my packing is like all the stuff, the business stuff, like I got laptop, my phone, charging cables, battery banks. Um, there's some documents I don't want to forget, so make sure I get those. Um, but uh, there's two parts to the trip. Some of it has to do with, uh, you can see this just exploded. And I just started thinking about like, well, what are some of the clothes I put in the suitcase? I could have literally uh, created this as backpack suitcase. That's another way to organize it. There's just lots of different ways and I don't really care. This is just sort of like get it all out of your head and get it visually. Um, let me give you one tip that what I do though is with XMind, um, I prefer maps that are colorful. So I use a rainbow, but I prefer logic charts. And so a logic chart uh, puts everything to the right. Um, there are other formats that are left and right and Bubbles can go everywhere. Uh, pick whatever makes you happy. You know, whatever works for you, that's fine. And what I realized that I could do with this is I just started realizing, oh man, by day, here's another way to think about it is what am I going to wear on that day? So I'm traveling Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday. And, and what I really like about um, XMind is it just lets me generate structured lists really fast. And I can hop back and forth very quickly adding items. So I could be like, okay, well, what am I doing Wednesday? Well, I'm flying to London and what am I gonna wear? Um, and so I've got these super comfortable um, joggers. Uh, I wanna wear a t-shirt because uh, it's all about comfort when I'm traveling, not looking fancy. Um, and I have a quarter zip. Uh, over the reason I'm doing it this way for me is by putting together the outfits I can begin to realize what the common elements are and I can use something like the markers uh, I've got a little mirror hanging in my way when I look at the screen um, and when I pull up the markers um, I can begin to tag things like there's a really good chance uh, those joggers are gonna get used multiple times or I could put a number on them going, okay, that's one of the you know seven things I'm going to bring um, with me. And it's, look, it's just get it out, get it out, get it out, and then go back and organize. Now, that's a whole process. And so you don't have to sit here and watch me walk through everything uh, I'm going to do. Let's take a go back to this one, uh, the office work. So how does it work with Obsidian? Well, one of the things I would do is I would say export as markdown so it's going to pull up this you know, big document and it's going to take the entire tree um and it's going to turn it into uh you know a markdown file now i use my power structure everywhere including my files so i'm going to end up saving this in area eo president because that's where i'm traveling and i'm going to go ahead and save it as packing for singapore md and voila, there's the text file. It will pop up um, in a folder. And I can either now directly drop that into Obsidian or sometimes what I'll do is what I'm about to do right now is use just another uh, document editor, IA, IA Writer uh, for Windows is one of my favorites. It 
again, runs on everything. You can get it on your phone, your iPad, runs on a Mac, runs on Windows. I'm a big believer in, I want my tools to run everywhere. And you can begin to see how it's used headers to convert each of the blocks into something that's gonna show up. So I have a really nice outline right away. So if I was gonna go back and pick out, um, ah, if it's collapsed, this is important. Why didn't travel documents and other things show up? Uh, because they were collapsed. Um, but if I was gonna go back and say office work, I've got all these things as headers. So rather than pick the entire list, I could just grab all of this, um, copy it and take it back into uh, my travel list. Boom, everything's set up in there. And so I get my list pretty quickly. Now, it might be that what you don't want to do is have these as headers. And it's just a little bit of reformatting. Um, it's easy to switch things back and forth. But for the most part, what I do is I use XMind to rapidly, rapidly brainstorm things. You can also export uh, from XMind um, as a PNG. So you can say, just give me the image show me what it's going to look like and I can paste that image back into Obsidian. Um, not tightly integrated for sure, uh, but what it lets me do is because I have uh, an area that is in uh, my folder that says, you know, EO president and in the exact same concept inside my folders for Obsidian, there's EO President. So they're linked together by convention, not physically and not totally integrated, but it makes me makes it super easy for me to find what I'm looking for. That's how I use those together.